on Star Wars fans, hope you're all doing well, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review, we're going back into the vintage collection again, and uh, I wasn't planning on picking this one up, but I saw it on the pegs, I got the original version back in 2013, it is the Emperor's Royal Guard, um, and yeah, I actually used some of the extra accessories from my original one to make a custom figure, so uh, I decided to go and pick this one up, I don't know that I like the Royal Guard, I actually think um, these five POA ones that sort of came out a couple of years ago with the Solo line are actually far superior and I do need to get another one so I can have an equal four but that's not to say this is a bad figure, it's actually quite a damn good figure um, given that there's two display options for it so um, I am going to open this one up and uh, we'll take a look because apparently the head sculpt's got great photo reel uh, detail on it for is it Carnal Jacks? I can't even remember which one's which anymore. Um, but yeah, for the uh, Crimson Crimson Guard underneath. So let's crack him open. He is, yeah, 105. So he is a repack. He came in a wave with uh, Luke Skywalker Hoff, Admiral Akbar, and Endor Han Solo. Um, all of which I've seen in the shops multiple times now. Um, but yeah, these are definitely the popular one. These ones are the flying off. So I just, I spotted one and I decided, bugger it, I'm going to grab it. So yeah, let's crack it open and have a look. All right, guys, here's the Emperor's Royal Guard. And I'm actually, I haven't actually opened this. Normally I will open a figure before I review it, but, uh, decided I'd, uh, I wanted to, I, I didn't keep the card for my original one, I don't think. So decided I want to sort of preserve this one. So I thought I'd just should sort of share a tip on how I do open these if I want to keep a nice clean picture on the card. So I've got my little X-Acto knife. Um, it does leave the sort of the glued plastic ring on the uh, on the card, but otherwise it's it's a pretty nice way to do it. So. I remember doing a video years ago explaining this, so um, it's a nice little update, I think. So there you have a nice sort of clean card, a few little scratches and stuff from the knife. But again, I don't really care, it's just, just something I thought I'd, I'd put out there. So there we have it. Now let's, let's get into the figure. Let me just get that knife out of the way so I don't hurt myself. So we get two trays, get the little rubbish. In the back here we get the uh, Crimson Empire Royal Guard accessories, which is cool. And the uh, sort of shoulder armor there, which is nice. I'm glad they were able to uh, include this as well, because at first it didn't look like they were going to. So and we'll get this bit out. We've got the Force Pike, the pistol. And the figure itself, so. So yeah, it's it's not bad. It's a good figure. I like it like underneath better. It's 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 quite good. Um but yeah, the just the sort of fabric. It just it looks a little bit messy and you know like I showed with the five POA one, it's just sort of a nice nice sort of shape. These guys aren't really action sort of characters so um yeah it looks all right though I, I i like it but uh yeah this is where we get the good stuff so i try and zoom up here so that looks okay i know it's it's easier for me to see through the uh through the LCD display here on my camera than it is by by naked eye, so <laughs> it's it's looking pretty good. It's a decent update. Can't see my original offhand, so it's gonna have to live with this one at the moment. If it focuses again, come on. Alright, anyway, let's take that off so we can discard that, and then we get this sort of Pretty cool sort of ninja sort of vibe, sort of red outfit. You know, these guys are sort of warriors for the Empire, so they're, these guys actually get into a fair bit of action. So we do have this piece that sort of just sits over the, over the shoulder there. 
it doesn't really sit all that well but when you got the helmet on it will sort of hold that down a little bit better it's not not perfect but it's okay and we get this bit here big imperial cog on the back which is cool and on the shoulder shoulder on the helmet so he's definitely definitely representing <laughs> he's part of the empire this little pistol will go in there So it's great, this is a good figure to get out to. I, you know, I have complained in the past about repacks, but when this guy was really difficult to find the first time around for a lot of people, um, you know, it was really, really tough. Um, and people that wanted to army build couldn't army build, you know, they were very limited. I think the wave was like an online exclusive um, to fan sites and stuff like that. So it wasn't an easy, easy figure to get a hold of. So to have that opportunity for folks to to get it again it's it's great um yes yeah, so i'm really really happy for people that have been able to pick this one up and i'm glad to have a second one to be honest i uh i do dig the figure a lot so um yeah it's it's cool so i'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below let's uh as i'm sort of talking i'll sort of just revert him back to his royal guard look um but yeah, give the, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Maybe hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. But uh, let's have another look at his face. It looks pretty good. Not bad at all. Well done, Hasbro. No, this is a uh, highly sought after one. Um, definitely grab them if you see them. Uh, that they will be popular. And that helmet fits on nice and snug too, so that's that's good. And there's actually because of the head, it actually allows a little bit of extra movement than it otherwise would if this was one solid piece. So that's good. I love going back and visiting the uh, deleted scene where these guys have got to stop Vader from coming into the throne room and they sort of pull their force pikes out yeah that's cool alright folks thank you very much for watching I do appreciate your time Got some more videos coming up very, very soon, so stay tuned. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Until then, may the Force be with you always.